Um, so it's very, very honest, right? It's telling us, oh, it's too feminine for a guy to be a model. Oh, if a woman is a professor, there must be something masculine about her. And it's so shameless about revealing these societal biases in a way that a human would never verbalize. It's like, I know that a guy is allowed to be a model and stay a guy, and a woman can be a professor without becoming a man. But the model is showing us what we really think under the surface, right? Or at least, you know, in some sense, in this collective consciousness. And so it's an opportunity for us to face our shadow and after acknowledging that, do better. Well, you remind me of um, in the early days of the Museum of Tolerance in L.A., the Holocaust Museum, a friend had designed it and invited me down for a tour. And back then they had to enter the tour. You had two doors and one said prejudiced and one said not prejudiced. Right. So they go enter the door to the one that you think you're good. Right. And you're a good person. Right. You were <laughs> we call virtue signaling now, but it's want to be a good person. Right. I'm not prejudiced. I mean, that door was locked and I was like. Ooh, what a metaphor. Like you went in there and realized this subject I'm about to go walk through, I'm prejudiced. That touches into uh, something I want to talk about.